Yo, what is up guys? Mr. The Reverts here, welcome back to the channel. And ladies and gentlemen, today we got the official roadmap for season four for Warzone Battle Royale, which is set to launch tomorrow, June 15th at 9 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. So we're gonna be looking over all of the new content coming, which includes some new point of interest, the new dirt bike vehicles, the red door fast travel system, and so much more. So guys, starting off with some back-end content coming to Black Ops Cold War, you will be able to gift the battle pass to your friends directly within the game store. And this will be coming into Warzone at some point, but at the moment you can only gift the battle pass when you launch Black Ops Cold War and it's inside of the store there. Again, gonna be coming at some point later on for Warzone, but for right now, only inside Black Ops Cold War. Now the download sizes for the next-gen consoles are gonna be coming in around 30 gigs, and then for the PS4 and Xbox One, the file sizes are coming in around a 16 gigs now we do have a brand new in-game event called a groundfall which pretty much like the other limited time events we have to complete challenges and you'll earn some in-game rewards and we also do have five new weapons coming three of which are going to be coming in at launch for season four and then the other two are going to be later on in the season now the first weapon we have is the c58 assault rifle and the description says a fully automatic assault rifle high damage at close range with a slower fire rate fast bullet velocity and a reliable recoil control with less ammo capacity and then you can obtain the c58 for free by leveling up the battle pass at tier 31 and then we also have the nail gun smg which is a slow firing highly mobile power tool that uses compressed air to launch fast moving projectiles that deal high damage at close range and then we also do have the mg82 lmg which is a fully automatic light machine gun highest fire rate in the class with improved aiming speed, moderate recoil, and damage with increased ammo capacity. So those are the three new guns we're going to be getting at launch. And then later on in the season, we have the OTS-9 SMG. And the description says, boasting great stopping power and a phenomenal fire rate, the OTS-9 is hindered only by its low magazine capacity of 20 rounds. Now the OTS-9 SMG seems like it's going to be, you know, one of those guns that, that a lot of people are going to be using for close range engagements. I could definitely see somebody slapping on an extended magazine with this or maybe a 40 round mag if it has it and then yeah I could definitely see this SMG being a very very meta for sure in the future and then we also have a new melee weapon which is the mace and yeah so those are the new weapons we're going to be getting within a season four for Black Ops Cold War and Warzone Battle Royale. As for the new vehicle in Warzone we have some mother flipping dirt bikes which I think will be very very useful for traveling around areas that are you know very rocky and hilly and then of course dirt bikes are very nimble too so you, you'll be able to dodge gunfire much more easier and yeah it's really nice to see some new vehicles coming and hopefully more can be added in the future next up guys i want to talk to y'all about the new red door fast travel system which has been rumored for quite some time now and yeah it appears that those rumors were indeed in fact true and pretty much around the map there's going to be various red doors that will transport you to a different location on the map now i'm not sure if this will be something similar to like the underground metro system that we had before but I'll definitely have some gameplay of that tomorrow to show you guys when it finally does come out but the description says our intel cannot explain the origins of these mysterious red doors around Verdansk but one thing is certain they allow you to redact it around the redacted what's behind them explore and enter them to redact it across the redacted red doors won't redact it unless you ping them and after you step through there's no telling redacted exiting out of the other side and stepping into a redacted so yeah very very vague here with the description not really all too sure what all this means and, and what you know they're trying to say here um, but again definitely like across random various rooms there's just a red door there's you can't really see what's behind it you just have to enter it and then what you go through is, is just a mystery at this point so again I'm gonna have some gameplay of this to show you guys tomorrow and yeah make sure you check back on the channel for that and then as for some other new point of interest we have the satellite crashes they're not gonna be marked on the tactical map but they definitely are going to provide you with some cover if you're around that area then of course some loot items and there's also some challenges for the in-game event by going to uh, the satellite crashes you can also interact with the sat links found around the area to work towards receiving a permanent reward in the ground fall event so they definitely are going to be very useful for again completing the in-game challenges and then of course whenever you're around the area you can you know get cover there and whatnot too so again it's not going to be marked on the tactical 
tactical map, but it's still kind of like a new point of interest, if you will. And then uh, lastly here, the downtown tower is going to remain the same, but except it's not going to be called the Nakatomi Plaza anymore. It's just going to be called downtown tower. And we also do have a brand new Gulag, which is going to be hijacked, uh, but again, just recreated and restructured for the one-on-one -on -one gunfights. I'm really, really happy because I absolutely love hijack. It's one of my favorite maps of all time in COD history. I really didn't like standoff too, too much, so I'm pretty glad that hijack is going to be replacing it. And yeah, new Gulag going to be hijacked. And then we also have a brand new LTM coming at the mid-season event called a payload. And the description says, in payload, you and 39 other operators drop in to escort two caravans of vehicles through a series of checkpoints or sabotage the mission, build or destroy barriers and purchase buildings to aid in your squad's mission, and be sure to collect any contracts you find around Verdansk as they will help you lead to success. More details to come within the mid-season. So yeah, Payload honestly sounds like a lot of fun to me. It's kind of like, I guess like a mix of War and Fire Team Dirty Bomb a little bit, I guess, because there's gonna be other objectives that you have to do and you know build blockades and stuff like that do do some challenges and stuff purchase stuff to you know help your squad out so i think it's kind of like a mix of those two modes so it's not just going to be like you know whoever's the last surviving you have to actually escort these caravans two of them and then the other team is going to be charged with you know stopping those vehicles from getting through each checkpoint and stuff so honestly again the payload does sound like a lot of fun and i can't wait to get some gameplay of this for you guys and play it so yeah this is all the new content we're going to be getting within a season four guys please send me thoughts about this down below in the comments guys are you all excited for season four because i know i definitely am and be sure to check back onto my channel for some videos coming back tomorrow thank you all so much for watching have a great rest of the day till next time i'll see you all later Mover. Waypoint mark. Move.